Hi, I'm Jennifer Morris. I'm the program manager of the Kingston, New York Foster Care Program. And I nominated our New York Resource Parents of the Year, Donna and Carlton Green. Um, they have been with us since 2018, and they have had four total placements in their home, although they've done um, quite a bit of respite for us, um, for other families to give families a break and to support other placements. Um, one of the reasons I nominated them was a, a wonderful job that they um, did with the children they had in their home who actually just went home um, to their family of origin. Um, but one of the things that struck me is that last year's um, foster parent appreciation dinner, um, Donna and Carlton listened to other families' experiences and listened to the nomination of last year's um, winners. And Donnette said she was amazed at all these other things that these other families had done and that she didn't feel like she had done as much. And so I nominated her and Carlton to show them everything that they have done and the wonderful job that they've done with children who have developmental disorders, um, older teens who really struggle. Um, they've had multiple placements be returned home. Um, and so that managing that transition is a big deal. Um, their most recent placement, um, I know Donna felt very out of her comfort zone and we really asked her, stick with this, you can do this. And you know, 18 months later, those kids have just been returned home and they had turned from kids who were really struggling, um, especially one of the children, into just these like happy, um, doing really well kids who they were all very connected to. And that success story really means something. What was it that led you to decide that you wanted to become foster parents? We have always been involved with young people through the church. We've always helped them, mentor them. And it was not until my mother-in-law, two kids were placed in their home and we fell in love with them. So she encouraged us to do foster care and we signed up for the training. So it was her influence. Has your experience been anything like you imagined? Why or why not? No, I, I mean, you're letting somebody in your home and um, these are kids you don't know and you don't know what you're letting in. But um, the expectation is to have a bigger family since some of our kids are gone and to fill that gap and to, to see younger kids around and to, you know, to be able to invest in them and uh, to foster them, to bring them into a home, a peaceful home, so they can have an experience, a different type of experience. For me, I didn't have any expectations. We just kind of went into it and hope, it, hope for the best. Um, sometimes we were very disappointed and sometimes it was an amazing experience. Would you mind telling us what have been some of the challenges along the way and how have you dealt with them or overcome them? The biggest challenge was just figuring out the most effective parenting style because with your biological kids, you apply a certain parenting style. With these children, you have to figure out, you know, their background, where they're coming from, how to effectively parent them and not cause confusion. What have been the biggest rewards for you as foster parents? The biggest reward for me is to, is to see the change in the child, the development, you know, to see a child that walks in grumpy, can't touch this person, they don't want to be around, to becoming so happy and friendly. And my last foster son was so brilliant, he learned so fast. I was really, I love to teach him because he gravitates so well. And that's rewarding for me. I just love to see transformation. What do you think has helped you to be successful? Spirituality helps to, to yes. bring on the, the patience and, you know, and to be uh, you know, loving and considerate. Uh, and that, and the spirituality helps a lot in that department. 
to to care for the kids when it's hard, when they're coming at you, losing your temper. And, you know, some of the experiences in spirituality just calm you and, you know, it's, it's what lead the way and help us to accomplish. What are some tips or advice you'd care to share with the other foster parents to help them be as successful? Love these kids. Love conquers all. And it's amazing. Um, kids know when they're genuinely cared for and loved and they react. They react to it. They respond to it. And they, it's, they, they just blossom and grow when you love them. And um, just have a heart for it. Don't do it for any other reason than to help. Because there are so many other reasons to do foster mm -hmm. care. But if you have the right reasons, you will be successful. What are some things that you often do to help kids in your care become more resilient? I don't know. One thing, um, it really bothers me when a child leaves my home and there's no contact, no relationship after. Yeah. I, I really love to be that. And you said it so... You said it so amazingly. You said, you know, to give them that soft spot to land mm -hmm. and to just be a resource even after they leave your home. So, and yeah, just just love and help them to understand that, you know, you're there for them. You, they are, they're, they can contribute to this society in a beautiful way, focus on their strengths and encourage their strengths and, you know, use moments, use, use moments for, you know, use these moments to be teachable, you know, get the opportunity, take that opportunity to teach that child, you know, and to just encourage.